This is number six from the 2022 third grade math star test. The numbers listed show the speed in miles per hour Henry pitched a baseball. Which dot plot represents the speed of Henry's pitches? So we're gonna go through each number and see how many times it shows up. And we're gonna make sure we have that amount of dots on our dot plot. So starting with 30, we're gonna see 30 listed once, twice, and three times. So our first number should have three dots. So we can mark out letter F because 30 only has one dot. We can also mark out letter J because 30 has four dots. Next up, I'm gonna see if we have a 31 anywhere in our list. And I don't see one, but letter H does have a dot on 31. So we can cross out letter H. So letter G has to be our correct answer. This is number seven from the 2022 third grade math star test. Gia lists some different methods she thinks she can use to solve the multiplication problem shown. Which answer choice is not a correct method for Gia to use? So we're trying to do seven times 11. So let's go ahead and go through each answer choice and see which one is correct. So for letter A, they give us a bunch of blocks. And so in that first column, we have a set of 10 and then one by itself to make a total of 11. So we're gonna see how many columns in total we have. And so we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that one would work, that's seven times 11, but we want an answer choice that's not correct. So we're gonna mark out letter A. Letter B, the arrow is jumping 11 to the right. And if we count up how many times they do that, we should end up getting seven times. So they're going 11, seven times. So that one would also be a good answer choice, but we need one that's incorrect. So letter B is not gonna be it. Letter C, we're starting at 11 and we're adding 11 each time. And if we count up the amount of numbers we have, we have seven numbers and seven times 11 is 77, which they have circled. So that one would be correct, but again, we need one that's not correct. And then letter D, we're starting at seven and they are adding by 11 each time, but you can see their circled answer is 73, which is not correct. So letter D is gonna be our answer. All right, this is number eight from the 2022 uh, third grade math star test. A group of figures is shown, which word best describes all the figures in the group? So they all have four sides and I noticed that they all have one set of parallel sides. Okay, all three of them do. So it's definitely not gonna be a rectangle, all right, because they don't have right angles. It's not gonna be a rhombus, all right, trapezoid, I'm thinking that's probably it. And then parallelogram um, would have to have two sets of parallel sides. These only have one. So I'm gonna go with letter H, trapezoid. All right, number nine, the table shows the number of tomato plants and spinach plants in five different gardens based on the relationship shown in the table, which statement is true? So let's just go ahead and go through each answer choice until we find the one that's correct. So letter A says there are nine more spinach plants than tomato plants in each garden. So let's check that. So garden K, we have 34 tomato plants and 43 spinach, okay? So that does work out because 34 plus nine is equal to 43. If we check garden L, 26 plus nine is equal to 35. 38 plus nine is equal to 47, all right? So if we just keep doing that down the line, we're gonna get plus nine for each one. So letter A is correct. All right, number 10, the picture shows eight seats in a movie theater. Children are sitting in a fraction of the seats. Which expression is equivalent to the fraction of the seats that have children sitting in them? So if we look at the seats, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total seats. So that's gonna be the denominator. And then we have three of them that are actually being sat in, right? So the total is gonna to be three over eight, or we could separate that out into one over eight for the first person, another one over eight for the second person, and a third one over eight for the third person. And if we look at our answer choices, we're going to get letter J.